To perform a modified McMaster, you're going to need a scale, a weigh boat to weigh your feces, your feces, of course, a tongue depressor, another object you can use to stir and measure out your feces, your solution, today we're gonna be using sodium nitrate, and two cups, a McMaster slide, which can be purchased online, a pipette, and cheesecloth to ply. Our first step in performing this modified McMaster's technique is to take our feces, which right here we have horse, and measure out exactly four grams. So now that we have exactly four grams of feces, I'm gonna go ahead and take them into my first Dixie cup. Add in 26 milliliters of flotation solution. Stir my feces and the solution. Pour the feces into the cheesecloth. I'm going to make a fecal tea bag, if you will. And using my tongue depressor, I'm going to press it up against the side. The next step is to take a pipette and place our solution into a McMaster slide. Here is a pipette that I have taken and cut off the tip and modified to make it a little bit easier to pipette in the solution. Do this at a little bit of an angle so that you don't spill any of your feces. And we want it nice, even with no air bubbles, like so. We let our slide sit for approximately two to five minutes and it is ready to read under the scope. Once you have placed your slide on the microscope, make sure you're using your 10x objective. Go towards the middle of one of the chambers and find the grid. The grid can be blue, green, clear, or a whole bunch of different colors. But what you're going to do is focus on that top line of the grid as well as the air bubbles. This gets you to the top plane on the slide where the eggs will be. Now once you've found that, you're going to go to one of the corners on the slide, and you can see that illustrated here in our video, and you're going to start going ahead and scrolling up or down in the column until you come across a Strongyle type egg, as we see here in the middle. Now again, this is Strongyle type or gin, and this is primarily what we're going to be looking for. We'll be looking for other types of eggs as well, such as our Parascara species or other roundworms, any tapeworms that we might see, or any other eggs of interest. Once you have finished one lane on the slide, you will proceed to the next lane, and there are a total of six lanes per chamber. Once you have finished those, especially in the beginning, go ahead and write down the number of eggs that you found in that chamber. Next, you'll go over to the other side and count that grid as well. Now, the eggs that you do want to count would be those that are 50% or more within the grid. If they are right on that line, but mostly outside of the grid, do not count them. And make sure to count all eggs inside the grid only once. Once you have finished, you're going to go ahead and add up all of your egg totals and then multiply them by 25 for horses to get your total eggs per gram.